Are UFOs living creatures? UFOs could be creatures in the vastness of space. According to claims, the enigma of unidentified flying objects is still shrouded in a great deal of obscurity. Following the most recent disclosures from the U.S. Department of Defense and Intelligence Services and from various cases that have been reported around the world, it can be concluded that the UAPs, or what we call UFOs, are real phenomena, a real occurrence, and a menace to national security. According to a new theory, the question arises, are UFOs actually living creatures? The general public is already familiar with the belief of advanced races that visit us or humans from the future that travel in time to our time, but in recent times a new theory has been gathering support and may soon become the dominant one. Are UFOs living beings? It makes an attempt to demonstrate that the so-called unidentified flying objects would not be formed of metal, but rather biological material, and that in actuality these so-called flying objects would be nothing more than new forms of life arriving from space. The existence of these extraterrestrial beings was first brought to light in 1948 by Charles Fort in his book, The Book of the Damned. Subsequent authors such as Ivan T. Sanderson, John Philip Bezos and Trevor James Constabuland steadfastly maintained that there is an ecosystem of atmospheric creatures of unknown origin. These creatures have the ability to glow in the dark and resemble oceanic and aquatic creatures. Many astro astronauts, including John Glenn and Franklin Musgrave, gave, uh, have made their fascinating claims that they have witnessed firefly snakes or something resembling jellyfish in the depths of space. These astronauts say that they have even photographed and filmed these bizarre forms of life, as was the case with John Glenn and Franklin Musgrave. The outstanding researcher Andreas Faber-Kaiser, winner of the Gold Medal and the National Astronomy Award, included his book, The Clouds of Deception, a chapter titled The Incredible Jellyfish of Space. In this chapter, he warns us that the UFOs are new forms of life that are on their way to Earth and that we should appear, prepare ourselves for their arrival. David G. Roca, professor at the University of Alicante, has released La Biblia de las Yubas in the year 2022. In this book, he asserts that weird bioluminescent life forms are beginning to colonize our atmosphere. These EBAs, or Atmospheric Biological Entities, are to blame for a great number of unexplained occurrences, many of which are mistaken for the appearance of extraterrestrial flying saucers. In the future, David G. Roca, along with many others, stated that there will be an increase in the number of abnormal occurrences as a result of the proliferation, uh, proliferate, uh, proliferating alien organisms in our atmosphere, which will cause a series of grave difficulties. Following his research on antimatter and with the assistance of concave lens telescopes, independent scientists such as Ruggiero Santilli have published two articles in the, on the existence of unknown and intelligent entities within our atmosphere. Everything points to the fact that these animals are genuinely coming on our planet without any discernible pattern, no one is sure what the results of this colonization will be, but one thing is certain. Once this data is shown to be true, the rules of biology, evolution, and physics will need to be rewritten. Are UFOs living creatures? This theory is supported by the testimony of eyewitnesses of Barry Lodge Cass or the, the incident on the island of Colaris and occurred November 2nd, 1959 in which the witnesses claimed that a UFO they saw close up had characteristics that were extremely similar to those of animals such as nerves, veins, tentacles, and flagella. Please leave your comments about this. This is on Infinity Explorers by Ansh Srivastava. Thank you for your support. My Patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting.
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.